holidays are going to be a hoot for this fellow, huh? He won season 17 of The Voice thanks to his talents and Kelly Clarkson's coaching. And he's here in Toronto to return the favor and record a joyful noise for her upcoming holiday TV special with some special homeboys. We welcome Jake Hoot to CP24 Breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Man, I'm good. How are you doing today? Doing good. I can't complain. Uh, Jake, it's good to, good to have you on the show. Big fans here. Let me tell you, I got, uh, let's get Thank right to, to this uh, this work you're doing here. You've come to the Great White North uh, for a session with the tenors. How did this uh, partnership come to pass? Man, it's just, you know, in life, I feel like it's so incredible. It's, it's amazing how many different paths lead to different things. But um, when I was on The Voice, I did a duet with Kelly, a song called Winter Song. And I used the tenors arrangement. Um, I've been a huge fan of theirs for a long time. And they they saw that. We talked about it on the show. And they saw that. And they reached out. And we just kind of stayed in touch. Uh, and this year, I wanted to write a Christmas song. And, and so I wrote it with a wrote part of it with a friend in Nashville and sent it up to the guys. And they were just like, absolutely, we want to be a part of it. And so they came to Nashville first. We recorded the song. And then I came up here. It's my first time in Canada. I'm loving it so far. And uh, it's just been really fun. Well, we welcome you to Canada. It's so good to have you up here. Um, Thank you. you know, your backstory, what, what took you from small town Tennessee to, you know, the biggest stage in showbiz, The Voice? What was the motivation? Um, you know, I think it was kind of, you know, blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while. <laughs> you know, I, I think, you know, I kind of, um, they had reached out to me, The Voice did. I was doing a thing called Bath Tunes at the time where I was just playing songs, sitting in the bathroom, and... Um, they, they reached out to me and I just kind of went after it and kind of dove head first into it. I tell people I had my bag packed every week on the show cause I thought I was going to go home every week, but, um, it just kept going on and on and on. And, and somehow, you know, God saw to it that, that I won the thing. And so it was, it was a blessing and it's just kind of opened up a world of opportunities and stuff since then. Yeah, we're watching the moment that you were declared the winner. Still gives the goosebumps over here. Look, Kelly Clarkson, she's going to forever be your, your red button soulmate, right? You've recorded uh, a couple times now with her, including uh, this year, I would, I would Have Loved You. The musical chemistry between you is clear. How do you define the, the musical uh, thing between you guys? You know, I, I think, one, Kelly is, is a rock star in her own right. I mean, she can sing whatever genre um, and absolutely kill it. And so... Um, and plus her heart is, is probably the biggest heart of anybody I've met in the business. And so her, her willingness to, to collaborate with me on anything is, is incredible, but we definitely have a good blend of our voices whenever we, we sing together and our personalities go well together. Um, I'm about, I'm six, six and she's about four <laughs> eleven or something like that. So that's about the biggest difference between the two of us. But, um, but yeah, she's been great, and, and I'm just so appreciative of all she's done for me. Jake, it was December 17, 2019, the finale when you won season 17. And, you know, this was just really days before coronavirus became COVID, and not long before this kind of distant, you know, curiosity became the global pandemic that we're now still involved with. How did COVID affect your early steps into show business here? I think it, you know, it kind of, <laughs> it was interesting, you know, because I, I was working in radio at the time uh, before The Voice, and The Voice kind of catapulted me into music industry, and then all of a sudden, you know, you hit a brick wall um, as soon as COVID happened, and all of my shows canceled. Um, but I'm very, very fortunate to have a great team of people around me, um, great, you know, not just my management team and stuff, but people who encourage me and stuff. And so we had to kind of reinvent the wheel at that point and try to find other ways to stay busy. And thank God, you know, for, for social media and those platforms where we could still have access to our fans and be able to do shows and stuff live, but it's still no substitute for, for a live show. And so we were dying to get back out on the road, but got a lot of new music uh, written during those months. Um, and we've been touring this year in the U.S. since probably the end of March. And it's just been a blessing and, and looking forward to next year. But it was, it was difficult there for a little while, but we, sure. we, we made do. Uh, Jay Coop, we'll let you go by saying congratulations. You're a newlywed as well. Uh, that's a, yes, that's a beautiful thing. What a year this has been for you and what a great career you have ahead of you. Can't wait to hear more holiday music from you, more music with Kelly, more of your own stuff. It's going to be a great career. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Awesome. That's Jay Coop.